in this video we are going to talk about one of the deadliest disease that is rabies rabies is a fatal means deadly but a vaccine preventable zoonotic viral disease over here zoonotic disease means disease that is transmitted from animals to humans it can spread to people and pets if they are beaten or scratched by a rabid animal rabies is mostly found in wild animals like bats raccoons skunks and foxes however in many other countries dogs still carry rabies and most rabies deaths in people around the world are caused by dog bites dogs are the main source of human rabies deaths contributing up to 99% of all rabies transmissions to humans all mammals can get rabies but only a few species are important as a reservoirs for the disease people usually get rabies from the bite of a rabid animal rabies is caused by lisa virus including the rabies virus and australian bat lisa virus saliva from an infected animal can also transmit rabies if the saliva comes into contact with the eyes mouth or nose it is also possible but rare for people to get rabies from non bite exposures which can include scratches abrasions or open wounds that are exposed to saliva or other potentially infectious material from a rabid animal other types of contact such as petting a rabid animal or contact with the blood urine or feces of a rabid animal are not associated with risk for infection and are not considered to be exposures of concern for rabies other modes of transmission aside from bites and scratches are uncommon inhalation of aerosolized rabies virus is one potential non bite route of exposure but except for laboratory workers most people won't encounter an aerosol of rabies virus this is how rabies virus looks like rabies virus is a rod or bullet shaped envelope virus it belongs to the genus lisa virus of the rhabdoviridae family here you can see a lipid bilayer all rhabdoviruses encode five structural proteins they are glycoprotein matrix phosphoprotein large structural protein and nucleoprotein there are glycosylated g protein spikes embedded in lipid membrane beneath the envelope matrix phosphoprotein layer lies it keeps nucleoprotein condensed and it is important for assembly it has roles in regulation as well the m protein that is matrix protein forms a layer between the nucleocapsid and the envelope the nucleoprotein coats the rna at the rate of one monomer of protein to nine nucleotides forming a nucleocapsid with helical symmetry copies of phosphoprotein are associated with the nucleocapsid nucleocapsid is associated with large protein the large protein that is l protein is well named its gene taking up about half of the genome 
its large size is justified by the fact that it is a multifunctional protein this is three dimensional structure of rabies virus rhabdoviruses have helical symmetry so their infectious particles are approximately cylindrical in shape they are characterized by an extremely broad host spectrum ranging from plants to insects and mammals one end is rounded or conical and the other end is planar or concave rabies lisa virus has a bullet like shape with a length of about 180 nanometer and a cross sectional diameter of 75 nanometer the lipoprotein envelope carries knob like spikes composed of glycoprotein g spikes do not cover the planar end of the virion beneath the envelope is the membrane or matrix protein layer which may be invaginated at the planar end the core of the virion consists of helically arranged ribonucleoprotein now let's see the life cycle of rabies virus the first step is attachment that is absorption the virus binds to the host cell surface receptors via its glycoprotein spikes the fusion of the rabies virus envelope to the host cell membrane that is absorption initiates the infection process the interaction of g protein and specific cell receptors may be involved after absorption the virus penetrates the host cell and enters the cytoplasm by endocytosis the virions aggregate in the large endosomes that is cytoplasmic vesicles the viral membrane fused to the endosomal membranes causing the release of viral rnp into the cytoplasm this process is called uncoating the encapsidated negative stranded rna genome is transcribed by the polymerase complex starting with a short uncapped leader rna that is le rna followed by the transcription of 5 dash end capped and polyadenylated mrnas and their translation into the viral proteins that is nucleoprotein phosphoprotein matrix protein glycoprotein and polymerase n p l g and m following replication the full length antigenomic rna is encapsidated in the nucleoprotein along with the genomic rna in the last phase the viral components are assembled and the rabies virions bud and are released starting a new round of infection the rabies life cycle and its resulting pathogenesis have been extensively studied and reviewed rabies is a virus that infects central nervous system that is brain and spinal cord when a rabid animal bites you virus enters into the blood stream and starts replicating in muscles virus then travels within exons via the retrograde ex- exonal transport virus then replicates in the motor neurons of spinal cord and then ascend to the brain virus then infects the brain neurons 
with neuronal dysfunction. Virus then spread along nerves to salivary glands, skin, cornea and other organs. After the virus invades from the bite site, it accumulates and reproduces at the nerve fibers of the striated muscle spindle receptor of the wound and then invades nearby peripheral nerves. The interval from local wound to invasion of peripheral nerves is generally within three days. And some people think that the virus can stay in the invasion site for two weeks or even longer. Before discussing symptoms, you must know the incubation period of virus. Incubation is the time before symptoms appear. It usually lasts from 2 to 3 months and varies from 1 week to 1 year. Depending on where the virus entered the body and the number of viral particles involved. The closer the bite is to the brain, the sooner the effects are likely to appear. By the time symptoms appear, rabies is usually fatal. Anyone who has exposure to the virus should seek medical help immediately without waiting for symptoms. The first symptoms of rabies may be very similar to those of the flu, including general weakness or discomfort, fever or headache. These symptoms may last for days. There may be also discomfort or prickling or itching sensation at the site of bite. Another symptoms may include vomiting, confusion or hyperactivity. As the disease progress during acute neurologic period, following symptoms may appear. Confusion and aggression, partial paralysis, involuntary muscle twitching, rigid neck muscles, convulsions, hyperventilation and difficulty breathing, hypersalivation or producing a lot of saliva, frothing at the mouth, fear of water or hydrophobia, hallucinations, nightmares and insomnia, priapism or permanent erection in males, photophobia or a fear of light. A person may enter a coma and most people then die within three days. During the coma stage, even with supportive therapy, Virtually no person survives rabies. Now, why does rabies cause a fear of water? So, people used to call rabies hydrophobia because it appears to cause a fear of water. But the reason is the infection causes intense spasms in the throat when a person tries to swallow. Even the thought of swallowing water can cause spasms, making it appear that the individual is afraid of water. Now how it is treated? If a person has a bite or a scratch from an animal that may have rabies or if the animal licks an open wound, the individual should immediately wash any bites and scratches for 15 minutes with soapy water or povidon iodine or detergent. This might minimize the number of viral particles. They must then seek immediate medical attention. After exposure and before symptoms begin, a series of shots can treat potential rabies infections because doctors do not usually know whether the animal had rabies so it is safer to assume that they do and begin vaccination. A small number of people have survived rabies, but most cases are fatal once symptoms develop 
and there is no effective treatment at this stage instead healthcare professionals will usually try and make a person with symptoms as comfortable as possible these individuals may also need breathing assistance rabies vaccine contains an inactivated or harmless version of the rabies virus so it cannot cause the disease it triggers the immune response to produce antibodies which remain in the body and help to protect against future rabies infections doctors administer the rabies vaccine into the upper arm pre exposure protection requires three doses of rabies vaccine across 28 days some people may receive the vaccine following exposure to the virus after an animal bite this is called post exposure prophylaxis for post exposure protection previously unvaccinated people need four doses of the rabies vaccine plus rabies immune globulin that is rig doctors administer this rabies immunoglobulin as soon as possible close to the bite wound to prevent the virus from causing infection in individual hope you will find this video informative if you like this video then subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon do like comment and share this video have a happy learning